Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fascination. And today I'm on to doing the third shirt for my friend. And uh, yes, we're going to get this pinned together. Um, right here I already have one part of a pocket front pocket here. And then I will be pinning this one on. And then obviously after I sew this one and this one on, then I will sew on this size for the other ones. Um, and then sew up the sides. I have the rounded collar for this one. Now the brown one over here, this one is cut completely different so I will get to showing you guys everything right here in a video now the first one which is over there <laughs> very first one has to be totally restyled now if you have stuff that you need to restyle instead of sitting around lollygagging and putting crap that isn't true on the internet if you have a restyle pile go ahead do your do your restyle pile. Now today, I also got permission from Annika Victoria. Thank you, sweetie. Um, which I will be featuring her because like, I love to sew with stuff on. Um, so, I know my hair is all over. I just always have to deal with like my nappy ends. <laughs> and I don't care. It's a Monday. Let's try to make this into a more fun day. Now, like I said, I'm already menopausal. I just seem to pause a lot. And I might not even really mention that much anymore because I notice that I'm always saying, um, and I'll be right back. And so I'm going to try to promptly, promptly, um, see there I am with the, um, promptly reverb. Verbalization when you're doing your videos is very important. Absolutely. Oh yeah, and over here, let me show you. Guys, you know how I said that I need to use up a lot of fabric before I can purchase anymore? And you remember how like this looked a lot bigger at one point? Oh my gosh, I've used a lot of the fabric. And I do keep it covered to keep a lot of dust off of it. Um, that's that is why I keep the fabric over there covered. So um, next month I'll be ordering more fabric from Fabric Mart to sew some pants for my friend. Um, the shirts I'm making big enough. He doesn't really want buttons on them. He overheats because of his disorders. Um, and um, so he can just toss them over a t-shirt. So there won't be any buttons going on his shirts. Just uh, style them. And um, yes, putting pockets into a men's shirt. A uh, person with disabilities may not be able to always put something in a pant pocket. They may not always have a pant pocket. Just like a woman. A man does not always have a pant pocket. Um, and you want to make sure that that person with disability needs has something for comfort for their cell phone devices, no matter what it is. If you're carrying a cell phone and you're diabetic and you need to check things and it registers and you read, sometimes you need a pocket for that. And I have, you know, like my pocket design already figured out. So... We will get into all of this today. Oh, a lot of all of it. And then get a collar on there. And like I said, you know, we're just going to restyle this. What did I eat? I didn't eat any wheat. What did I eat? I get itchy if I eat wheat. Food allergy. But, um, yes, this is what we're going to do today. And then I will be finishing off my sweatpants my sweatsuit, I should say, 
Which these boy shorts, I'm telling you guys, these boy shorts are so darn comfortable. You can wear them as a short, you can wear them as boy short undies, you can wear them either way. Uh, yeah, so we are, hey, you can see better now. You, you can tell like, and I've lost a little more weight since I've made these. Anytime I make something myself, my weight comes off, so maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yes, um, even with this, um, I think, yeah, I have only one pocket I need to touch up on this and then add those buttons. But this is really great. This is not too heavy. I'm not taking that with me when I go do my collaboration with Rocco. Rocco, check him out. I will leave a link. You guys always know that when I sew, <sighs> yep, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because next month from Sin City Soaps and Candles, they have a watermelon Jolly Rancher bath bomb <laughs> that's shaped like a flip flop. Okay, now. Love their raspberry lemonade. This stuff is great. Look at that. Look how much I've used now. Like, look at that side. That should tell you. Anyway, <laughs> always keep that handy. This is the body butter, as you know. I will leave the link for them over here. I figured this out. It is your left. And <laughs> my uh, affiliate code. Shars Nation 10 on caps. You get 20% off your entire purchase at any time. So just stay right there. <laughs> and by the way, anything I do is not stage acting. So you may be wondering what's the other one that I will be opening soon. Look at how pretty that is, right? Oh, that smells so good. It's called Tropical. I have used a little bit of it. It's called Tropical. Uh, this is when I was helping Sun City Soaps and Candles figure out if this could ship without melting. Body butter will melt in shipping if it doesn't stay cool. And that's why Nicole and Wayne was making too much body butter in the summer months and shipping it because this used to melt. <laughs> yeah, a few of their products didn't exactly make it until we did an experiment and booyah. Um, and then, yeah, this will be my next one to open. <sighs> Smells so tropical. Makes me think of Florida. Yes, yes, this makes me think of Florida. Um, I said this, this is one of their scents, tropical, but we are not here for, well, you know what? I do keep skincare near me anyway. So what we're going to do is not going to say the word and then, you know, I'm going to put that on the machine. So, so let's get into that. Now we are back. You know what? Let me uh, go like this. Okay, I have full permission, like I was saying, to have Annika Victoria, which I will link her channel, playing in the background of my channel. Go check her out. She's another disabled sewer with chronic illness. She actually has to wear, if you wonder about her glasses, um, I don't think I'd be able to wear those glasses to help my chronic epilepsy headaches, but she wears those for her migraine. Rose-colored glasses, you have migraines. <laughs> That's basically what that means. So, um, yeah, absolutely. That actually is what that means. It just means a person gets chronic headaches. But I, I think I get a chronic headache 
Not just from my disabilities, from a lot of negativity going around right now. Like, do you really have to do that? I'm really sure you have something to restyle or something. So, yeah. Absolutely. If you have something better you can do than negativity, go out and do it. Absolutely. I encourage positivity over negativity on a given day. So I have my thing right here for my pens. And thank you, Annika, for letting me uh, have you in the background. And considering, you know, like she's disabled, my friend I'm sewing with is disabled. So I'm actually enabling the thoughts of um, helping people with disabilities. <laughs> or nationality because we're all people uh, we're all one human race absolutely we are one human race of individuals <laughs> Now, when you turn this, make sure that you also make sure that the under, I know that sounded weird, um, the under fabric is uh, turned with it when you do this. I almost forgot to take that pen out. Yeah, you know when the day is a Monday. <laughs> so, you know when the day is absolutely a Monday that happens okay so I'm only gonna take this part so far back it up take this off here and then sew that pocket absolutely sew that pocket on the front and um yeah Get that going so that later we can have some shirt showing. Yes. Isn't that going to be lovely? Just a, a good project that you can do for another person of needs. Um, I said, if it wasn't for my friend, like, I wouldn't have the roof over my head. I definitely um gosh no um he's such a sweet person and i think in friendships just as friendships it's always a great thing to to have oh, i have to read read that well you know what that means I'm gonna use my stuff from Sin City so let me do that and we'll finish sewing that side also yesterday when I was sewing be careful on how quick you sew I noticed my stuff up there a painting fell over in my Spider-Man lunchbox. Yes, I'm a nerd and proud to be a nerd. Um, my Spider-Man lunchbox almost fell off. And uh, so have some, uh, well, almost, my crystals and stones up there almost fell, so. Always be careful and help. Slow yourself just a little bit. Also because, and I should know this, take your sewing 
to a certain point because when you sew too quick you also add the extra fuzzy stuff you gotta clean out from in here and in here and like I said I really got to get this part open to see you know like if anything needs replaced soon oiled what does it need and I don't want the belt breaking Let's see the other thing about sewing super fast. I don't even know why I'm sewing the socks on today. You guys know I don't like to sew with my socks on. <laughs> That's just not my thing. Uh, so now we have one pocket piece sewn on here and then when I sewed this one I'll have that completed in a moment and then pin on the other one sew those sew this completely as it needs to be always clean up your threads along the way those can sometimes get annoying but definitely clean up your threads along the way and am I worried about this part right here, the white on there? No, because I'm going to tuck that under, you know, roll the hem under, and it'll be not visible. It just won't be visible. So, let me get on with that part. And now I have both sleeves, like, sewn on the under. No back side I just like I love this fabric is this very nice it's you can use this for unisex but like I said you know I'm using it for my friend um, oh and if you're wondering about I thought about making myself a turtleneck right and then Annika Victoria's video which I will be linking in this one um, is about sewing a turtleneck of all things <laughs> who would know right who would know that like we both had that same thought but that's kind of funny like us you know take some of your fabrics like you may not have a lot of fabrics on hand but you may have a restyle pile she she has a basket full of restyle Maybe more than one. <laughs> and some drawers. <laughs> For her. What she calls a style pile. Yeah, she does. So, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there have, like, fabrics you haven't used. And I am shopping at Fabric Mart, you know, for my fabrics. And I have them sent. You guys have seen my videos. And then, like, I'm doing this with fabric from Sam's Fabric. But... You know, my thread is from Fabric Mart, one of my favorite places. I don't do Hobby Lobby anymore. I could, but I don't. So, let me get those others pinned on and put on the machine. I may have to do this video on parts because my... Uh, Green Master is also Native American, and we will be doing ceremony to uh, bring rain to the droughted areas of uh, Nevada and New Mexico to uh, Nevada and New Mexico for the people that are suffering in drought right now. So, uh, yeah. We uh, definitely come together. Native American tribes consider themselves brother, sister, cousin. Um, uh, we pull together when other people need help. You see right there what I did? Something positive. When other people need help. And it sounds like there's somebody in the house. You know, I told you guys this house is haunted. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's like weird. 
I can be in here talking to you guys, right? See how I said that talking to you guys. I can be here and like somebody else is in the house when it's just myself here. Look. I'm getting a full spectrum camera soon. <laughs> Which is also, you take off the spectrum lens. And it's also a regular vlogging camera for YouTube. So I will be able to do that. And uh, for September, October, maybe we can get into a, a little bit of uh, using the full spectrum on certain days. And see what we come up with. If you'd like to uh, have me do that, leave that in the comments below. But otherwise, I'm just... I'm just going to do it, especially in October, November, if you aren't aware. October, November 1st is the original Halloween, which is Day of the Dead, um, Harvest Festival. Yes, indeed it is. So, uh, my battery almost went. Uh, that's how you know it's Monday. So, I have the other pockets pin on and I'm gonna do that real quick sew down the rest of the sides and we're gonna have fun trying to put this together before I have to uh, take my regalia out from underneath this because I have to dress some regalia and um, absolutely I don't mind um, don't come at me for this I actually own a foxtail it was from a hunt and um, you know, I will be tying that in my hair. But you guys don't get to see ceremony. It's alright. Um, because uh, <laughs> it, it's just, it's really cool to be invited to join ceremony for uh, helping other people because of drought. And it, it's amazing to be able to do. So, uh, yeah, let me so make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, don't mind this. I had to switch out to my regalia for ceremony. And we're going to continue this. I only have to do certain parts of ceremony and then take a break, which gives me time to do this. It's not disrespectful. Um, because I was asked by um, a tribal elder... To participate and I am honored I am honored absolutely who wouldn't be honored to uh, you know for your heritage for your elders to uh, ask you to participate. In ceremony. Did I take out my sage and stuff? Yes. Absolutely. It's part of ceremony. I have to get some more sweet grass and some tobacco for it. For the next time. I did. I ran out. So, okay. Now, we're on to this part right here. Where then I can... When I go in between um, specific things, it's because we do ceremony for something like, you know, in between, and then we can take a break. That way we don't get tired. That's kind of tradition. <laughs> it's, it's tribal tradition. Actually, it is. It's tribal tradition. That way the person isn't uh, wearing out their spirit. If that makes any sense to you? It makes sense to me. That way we do not uh, tire our spirit, our soul from uh, ceremony. 
and uh, yeah. And the tribal elders know that I'm doing this and that I put it aside for a while so I can help the ceremony and uh, yeah. So I had to just eat a few minutes ago. You must replenish your body for ceremony. It's um, shamanistic. And um, so shamans generally know, you know, you have to replenish your energy. And make sure that you're, that may be a sign. Okay, and like I said, I had Annika Victoria's permission to have her in the background. And like I said, I will leave a link for her. I will leave a link for Sin City. I will also leave a link for Rummy with Rocket. <laughs> so, um... This is pretty much how this looks right now. With, I just did the collar, like rolled all that under and then just hem that. Um, then I have the sides hem now with the pockets. I think this is an important step for disabled men or disabled individuals altogether that need a garment that has a pocket accessible to them. So before I do the rest of this, I need to have my friend go try it on and then do some ceremony and then come back. And now we are onto the sleeves already like rolled the other sleeve and started uh, and had finished hemming that um, in between a ceremony. <laughs> So you're going to see, him, see me in my regalia for part of this video. Um, nothing wrong with that. I made my regalia. I can wear it in a video. Now, traditionally, regalia wasn't fabric. Traditionally. Fabric only came into play when the uh, European settlers came. The same thing goes with beads. I said I would teach this anyway. So when the European settlers first came to America, don't be all distraught about this, they had children as slaves. And the indigenous culture Seeing that children were being used as slaves, white kids at that. Um, a lot of tribal members look, you know, frowned on that, and of course, you, you pretty much know why. Um, I'm not going to say that tribes didn't take members from other tribes. That was part of war. <laughs> But a lot of times when they took somebody in, they took them in and integrated them in to the tribe that they were in. So. This is true. As time went on, um, and then black people were taken from Africa, <laughs> sold by Africans to the uh, trade by Africans. Um, a lot of tribes took them in. A lot of tribes took them in. 
because they, you know, we don't encourage that kind of behavior. Like we don't encourage destructiveness. -ness. Because that devolvates the human race. go forward. There a flu boo happened here and I'm trying to figure this out. Like how did this flu boo happen? I think we all have this. Annika, you were saying something about that and then I flu booed the sleeve girl. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut it up into a bajillion pieces. <laughs> Annika Victoria was just mentioning something one of her videos, you know, about, you know, we all do something, and then, see, look, that's twisted up there, so I'll just pick that loose, and then lay it back down. Okay, the second sleeve doesn't want to roll even, like, the first sleeve, I don't get that. I rolled them the same to hem them down. I picked it twice. I'm not picking at this again. I'm not going to be picky today. How about that? So, because I'm having a problem rolling that, it doesn't want to stay right. It's actually stuck in one part. <laughs> Look, Annika, I'm not saying that you jinxed me, girl. Thank you for letting me have you on in the background of my videos. Um, like I said, I will link Annika Victoria Sun City Sets and Candles with my affiliate code, Shards Nation 10, all in caps, and Roaming with Rocco. <sighs> yes, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, and don't forget, I will go hashtag Fabric Mart, Annika Victoria, Roaming with Rocco, and uh, Sun City Sets and Candles because uh, they're always part of my sewing from my moisturizing my hands to everyday things um, and my just my skincare. I used to do Bath and Body Works but I don't do Bath and Body Works anymore. I use Sun City Sets and Candles. They're amazing. That's why I suggest them. They have awesome product. That's why I do um product reviews here is not PR well it is PR but it's paid for PR by me um, and I don't mind doing that because I know I give back to the community so what I want everybody to do here today is stay happy stay healthy stay positive and as always stay blessed and I'll see you when I'm done with the rest so at least I can do is show it to you all right, have a blessed day or a blessed week. Oh.